welcome to episode two of making cards with paper pads and no stamp pads, no stamp, no ink, no inky fingers, just paper pad, maybe some embellishments that you have laying around your house, um, and adhesive. Also, you need your card bases as well. This is the card paper pack that we're going to use today. It is an older one, but if you can find one similar that has pages similar to this, as well as good backgrounds, you can make this out of any time of year, not just Christmas. You can also make some really um, really interesting, unique cards without getting the inky fingers, because we know how I am with inky fingers. I will get inky fingers, if not inky arms, and yes, I am a messy crafter. <laughs> so, to start off, I found in this paper pack, there is this really awesome um, sheet that has all of these nice little wishes on them. I In my previous video, I showed one similar to this, but never cut it up. Uh, never got around to it because there were so many awesome, um, bigger, I call them tag cart uh, pages, that um, we could use in that paper pack. And so here are, here is another, um, I would call it a banner page, um, that has ones that I can use and in, in, make little tags out of, um, bigger tags out of, or just have as a running base across the bottom of the card. Like, I think I'm going to do with these a deer now. So the first step is cutting all these apart and figuring out what you want to layer together. Um, for me, I am probably going to be using the deer. I'm not going to speculate as to really as to everything I'm going to use, but I do know I want to use this little strip as a strip across a card, kind of taking the place of a ribbon in most places. So um, let me get all these cut out and I will figure out what I'm going to do from there. I probably should have added <clears throat> a couple more tools that you are going to need are a pair of snips and a paper cutter and of course if you are doing your own handmade card bases and you're not using any pre-made card bases that are already folded for you you might want a scoreboard as well that being said get that out of the way so these are the strips that I have and these are the what I would call tags um, so banner banner strips. I got that one. Um, there's little tags that were that I cut up uh, from one of the banners. I have a couple other ones um, that are going to be just full card faces. You'll have to cut them. I'm going to have to cut them down a little bit, but um, a special card front for me. There's also these kind of journaling cards, which um, might actually come in handy for the inside of a card. So... Now it's down to this. I'm going to cut this one down and make it into some um, cute little um, interior pieces. I think I like these better than I liked the other um, page of, um, I would call them sentiments. So I am probably going to be using some of these in um, my episode one cards for the interior of those cards. So... Here are a couple of the main um, scrapbooking pages for this particular... <laughs> So let's get to the designing some cards here. I am going to start off with the easy first and start off with these. So I have three of those. They are a bit long, I think. I think these are actually six inches long. 
Yes. So I will have to take off, um, depending on how wide this is, four inches by six inches. So I might want to take, hmm, at least half an inch off. So it might cut into the design just a little bit, but I think it would still look okay. All right, so I have all of these guys cut up, have my card bases all set up. I personally think that card bases in the craft look, um, look a little bit better than the other um, craft or um, card bases. Just my personal preference. Now I have two more kind of scrapbooky <clears throat> tags as well as these um, that could also be used as card fronts. So I'm going to go ahead and cut those out really fast. <laughs> Now, I would like to point out the fact that when you fussy cut, it's not going to be perfect. But, you, I have had times where I have gotten cards out of boxes, the pre-made, pre-printed stuff, and it's not perfect. Um, I remember a really bad year where I grabbed a box and I was like, I like these, these are pretty, got them home and realized that every single sentiment stamped in the middle or printed in the middle of the card was spelt wrong. So I was like, really? This ain't even working. And it wasn't a cheap set of cards. That was like a $20 set of cards and every single one was misspelled. So I was kind of not happy with that. But I digress. Here are the here are four of the um Merry Christmas ones. 
Um, or the have yourself a little, yeah, the deer, the ornaments. And here are the ones that have, were just a main, um, tag is what I would call it. Um, so these were what these looked like. Uh, what I was talking about with the Wink of Stella. Let's see if this is even going to work for me. All right, so with the Wink of Stella, what I was talking about as far as jazzing some stuff up. So this particular, these four, I don't think need any jazzing. So they're going to go in my pile here. I actually made more cards in these last two videos than I needed for my, um, in episode one. In episode two, I made more cards than I need for my card swap. So that's fun. A little added bonus. But I have my Wink of Stella, and Wink of Stella adds a little bit of shimmer. So if you don't have this, I would recommend um, buying some of this. I think you can get it at Michael's um, and other places. I'll link where you can get it below um, in the comments or um, in the description of this video. But um, Wink of Stella, this one is gold, I want to say. Comes in different colors. Cle uh, gold clear. It does come in different colors, but I can come in here and I can just kind of jazz up like the tops and make them. Let's see if you can see this. A bit sparkly. So on here, I'll just go in with the red. Um, with the Wink of Stella, it does come with a stopper on it, so when you go and you buy it and you want to use it, it's going to have a little stopper either in here or up in here. Um, you want to take that off first. Uh, when I first started using Wink of Stella, I thought that mine was broken. Turns out it, I just, it wasn't letting anything through. So as you can tell, there's a little bit of sparkle now on the red. I don't know if you can see that very well. It's there. Um, and it just adds a little extra little sparkle to, to stuff and a little bit of an eye-catching thing. And you just kind of draw on it like a marker. Doesn't have to be perfect. We're, this is all handmade stuff, so it does not need, it does not need to be perfect. Um, <clears throat> As always, you're going to be your worst critic for anything that you do. So just keep that in mind. Other people aren't going to, um, the general people aren't going to know what you've messed up. If you have messed up, it's don't be so hard on yourself. Just saying. Oh, that's a little thing that I've learned myself through trial and error and just like, yeah. People comment, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. And it's like, ah, you don't see all the errors that I see. Um, oh, the truck. I want to go over the Mary a little, make a little jazz the Mary up just a little bit. And if it's a little off, it doesn't necessarily need to be right on the money. It's fine. I'm moving a little fast, I know. But I also want to get the snow on the truck. Oh, maybe the present too. Yes, there we go. So it adds a little bit, let me see, can I, can I get it to cut? Maybe it's picking up, maybe it's not. Oh, there we go. There it shows the shimmer. And I am going to do the same thing, I think, on the dove. On this one. And it, like I said, just a little bit of shimmer, just a little bit of fun. 
especially for the ones that you're just doing the tags. Some little squigglies on here. And I would say that these are pretty much done. I'm gonna write my sentiment or you know, write out my Merry Christmas, happy holidays on the inside. And other than that, there has been no stamps used in these cards whatsoever.